in Pascal from Orange Pixel. Um, I just turned on a light while I was looking at it. So I see a lot of colory flashes right in front. This wasn't the smartest way to start this video. Um, anyway, I'm starting this video. It's gonna be a short video, I guess. I think uh, topic is very simple. Regulated City, game I'm working on now. Where am I with the game and what's the plan for the game? Uh, I'm wrapping up the year pretty much. Um, next week there will be an end of year video talking about everything, how this year was for Orange Pixel, of course residual, um, switch releases, a bunch of things. And the week after that it will be the first video of the new year. And I will talk about the ideas and plans I have for the coming year because I have a bunch of those. But uh, today, Regulated City, where are we and where are we going with it? After the intro. Okay, so um, Regulated City, I've been working on it now for about six months, I think. Um, you can check all those videos on the channel. And um, I'm now at the place and at the point in development where I can actually start thinking about designing the rest of the game and creating the actual game. Um, these six months I've been mostly tinkering and, and struggling with the AI, getting this squad, this team playing like you're playing with a buddy or a friend. This team should really be doing everything to help you. And uh, it just took a lot of time to get it up and running. Um, maybe a little bit too much time, to be honest, but I talked about that as well in recent weeks. Um, but it's up and running now. And just uh, the last couple of weeks, I've been uh, breezing and pushing through so much content and new stuff that the game is really growing very rapidly. And I feel kind of confident that I can still uh, manage to get this game done and finished within the next four months. Make it five, just to add a little extra. Um, I'm very confident that it can be done. Um, and as talked about on this channel many times before, um, I try to create games, either uh, small games within six, seven months or bigger games within nine to 12 months. So um, it's still possible for this one. And um, that's what we're gonna try in the coming year, pretty much. So for me, uh, the fun part of development starts uh, now in the recent weeks as I create a bunch of uh, fun things and add features and ideas. Like uh, this week I added the garage doors in the street level. They can now open up and throw a bunch of enemies at you. Um, I'm now working on a security system so that a level can have a computer that operates the security cameras spread around the level. Uh, these cameras, if they detect you, will spawn enemies, more enemies, so you don't want to be detected. But you can also try and find this security cam, office, computer thingy, and just turn off the cameras and have a much easier experience in the level. Um, adding a bunch of features like that to the game is a lot of fun. Um, now that I know that everything else works, the core mechanics are working, it's just a bunch of these ideas. Just throw it all in there, see what works, see what's fun. and. Uh, that's really the fun part of game development. And I, of course, have written down a huge amount of ideas on the list. Um, these six months, I haven't just been working on the AI. I've been thinking about what if we could do this or that or that. So there's a bunch of ideas. I'm just going through all of them. Of course, I have a huge amount of graphics, thanks to DMAC, the intern, Dylan. Um, huge amount of graphics we can use. And I'm also actually adding some more. Now that I got some time to do that, I can actually uh, do some of the pixel art myself again. Been missing that a lot but DMAC is still doing a bunch of extra things, already had some interesting ideas I gave him and uh, we'll see where that all ends up. So this is the fun phase. Uh, I now just have to figure out how much time uh, is there still available to spend on this game. Content wise, I need to create levels. I need to create some more artwork, uh, missions, uh, pretty much everything that you need to play games. There is a couple of things there. We just need to create more of that. So uh, that's gonna be the main bulk of work, content. I'm also working on the city map and everything, pretty much everything uh, content-wise. It's, it's just everything you see, everything you can interact with, all that stuff now needs to be added to the game. The mechanics are up and running. I do need to figure out what this whole city map is gonna be about. We have it in the game, but I still need to figure out a couple of things, but it's gonna be fun. I wanna look into local multiplayer, and it's gonna be very easy to implement because the squad is already being controlled by two things. Right now, one human and a computer replace the human with, uh, or replace the computer with human interaction. And we have a second player and uh, the game is set up for that. So expecting maybe a couple of hours work because I've got a lot of experience with that with Gunslugs, Heroes of Loot and a couple of other games. So no problem on that front. 
uh, multiplayer online that would be very cool but that might depend on two other things or maybe just one thing uh, funding pretty much how much money uh, can I spend on the rest of this project so I'm gonna look into a Kickstarter um, not sure how that's gonna go and Kickstarter recently with their NFTs and blockchain stuff not sure I'm just not sure about Kickstarter yet but I still want to try that and especially before they maybe create uh, stupid business moves and Kickstarter might not be uh, a Kickstarter anymore read up and google on that kickstarter blockchain there's a bunch of stuff going on anyway um publisher of course i'm going to talk to the guys at apogee about it i've already been talking and showing this game to them um i want to see if they're interested in publishing it and maybe help funding it a little bit um if they aren't there are more publishers out there and i'll uh, go check with those publishers so depending on the kickstarter and publisher and or might be doing both kickstarter and the publisher um that's gonna really dictate how much time I can still spend on this game. If both of these fail, so no Kickstarter and no publisher funding, um, we're gonna release it just a, a lot sooner, probably early access on PC first and then a Switch version. I have to talk with Sirius Lion about it. Uh, he will do most of the porting for all my other games still doing those. So uh, this will just be one of the other Orange Pixel games, just a priority. Um, so yeah, that's it's it's all a bit vague, but for all of that to work, I first need to build a good demo so that people can actually play it and see what I have there. And maybe, and I'm against these things, but maybe I'll do a design document just stating my ideas and what this game is gonna be about. All the vague ideas, not all are finalized, but some of them are there. I just have to write it down, have a good document to show, and uh, that should help with convincing publishers or Kickstarter backers pretty much everyone that this game is going to be worth it in the end so um hopefully uh, with publisher and kickstarter i can find a way to get maybe 20 to 30 thousand euros uh, available to uh, finish this game and build it into the right game the thing i have in mind um a lot is going to depend on those things and i've been pushing that a little bit forward and forward and forward because it's it's a scary thing to do but um we're gonna have to do it so that's gonna be early 2022 and then the release will be i don't know um like i said five four months six months it depends a little bit on how all this goes um the less funding i get the faster it has to be released um of course pc switch and uh, we're gonna do xbox and playstation hopefully also with all my other games we're working on that we have everything in place to do that it's just a lot of time and work to get it up and running but uh, it's gonna be on the consoles and on PC. Um, iOS, Android, not sure, maybe, possibly, perhaps. Uh, still have to look into that for residual as well. But for this game, I just want to focus more on PC and console for obvious reasons. I've mentioned it many times. It's, it's a much um, better market for premium games like mine. Mobile market is very, um, it just moves up and down and it changes every every few months there are changes and you have to update your game to keep up with those changes that apple and google push down and pc and console is just a lot better if i can get there for most of my uh, business stuff so that's my main focus i can also do a lot more with my games if i focus on the bigger devices and not just on mobile so um we'll see maybe there's a mobile version somewhere in the future Maybe not, not sure yet on that one. But what I am sure of is that this game um, is gonna be the first, well, uh, on the first new game I'll be releasing next year. Uh, there's a Heroes of Loot 2 coming to Switch in February. So that's gonna be the first release of the year. And then this one will be uh, somewhere in next year. And um, that's it for this week's video, pretty much. Um, next week, end of the year, how was 2021 for Orange Pixel? Um, the, year, the week after that, it will be the new year. And I'll talk about the plans I have for the next year, which of course will include releasing Regulator City by doing a Kickstarter and everything I just talked about. Um, Heroes of Loot 2 is coming to Switch, Ashworld is coming to Switch, maybe a few others. Um, a bunch of things I have already been planning and thinking about for next year. So um, stay tuned for the next couple of weeks. And after that, I will probably have a bunch of new things to show you for Regulator City. I already have a bunch of new things, but I'll keep them for uh, a couple of weeks from now. So that I can also take a little break during the holidays, even though the holidays are in the weekend this year. 
Christmas is in the weekend. New Year is on a Saturday. It's don't um, one of those years, I guess. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you next week and the week after and the week after and all the weeks after that. And yes, there is a tech talk coming on Regulated Cities AI as well. I heard all the comments on last week's video. Um, I'm going to do that video uh, pretty soon. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you next week. Bye.